morning, everyone. I'm going to show you around our 2018 tab 320 CSS. Um, we bought this two years ago, brand new. We're selling it. We're moving on to a camper van. So we're changing the way we're camping. We're really sad to be selling it because we dialed it in to exactly the way that we think it should be for camping. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour. Um, that way you, I can show you all the things. I show this to people every time we go to a campground. Somebody stops and says, can I see it? So um, I'm kind of used to giving these little tours. But um, my husband might give a little commentary too because he's the cameraman and he's got, he knows a little bit more about the technical part. Uh, so he put the spare tire up here instead of underneath. He moved it. Um, it gives you zero clearance when it's underneath. It, it, so here is a better place to be. We had this nice, big, sturdy, diamond-plated, custom box made for this camper. And this is wonderful for the husbands that have lots of things that they do. So, he'll take a little peek in here. Sometimes we put firewood, tarps, you know, any outdoorsy thing. You've got your uh, drain, really nice, easy to put this clear thing on the end which is very useful to know that when you're done cleaning out you're done cleaning out um you've got your gas tank we upgraded this so this is a, a double battery it's a two six volt dry cell battery two golf cart batteries rather than the single marine battery 12 volt marine battery that was in there right so that was that's definitely a nice upgrade and then a whole nother empty empty cabinet here so lots and lots of storage um my husband and i are both really good at uh, organizing and and just we take what we need so um, you've got your nice handles so you can move it around i might even be able to move it yeah, I, guess. I got a little momentum i so let's move on. This is um, an add-on staying with the camper. It's uh, a nice awning. It folds up just this, this piping here is just like a, a tent pole and it folds up and about this big. And it, we have a little cabinet for it. So we have, it has the Keter rail, you just slide it up and over. Um, this is a lagoon table. This is an upgrade. This table would also be inside the camper if you wanted to use the inside of the camper as a dinette and change it to a bed. We like to just keep it as a bed um, so that we're nice and comfy. Um, so this, this uh, little thing here, it just comes out. You can lift this off. Undo this take slides right out and we just keep this on the floor of the camper while we're traveling and I just put it in here I put the coffee pot here plug it in right here and we're all set to go I'm going to take you inside now nice door nice handle okay this is a problem though. when the <laughs> when this comes on so I'm going to just pretend it's not on. Okay. You can push this over. You can actually move this over. But it's got a clip so it can keep the door open. It's got lots of nice things out here. You've got your fire extinguisher. Nice wood floor. I wipe it down every time we can. Nice and easy. There's a nice little storage cabinet here. That we keep like the rugs and, and other accessories that we need. We keep inside there. Underneath the bed, because we keep it as a bed, there's a lot of storage. So there's a eight by eight canopy under there that we pull out and set up an eight by. Yeah, we set up a big canopy in case it rains. Um, and then we keep our two camp chairs under there as well, plus a fan. So that's all under there, tucked away nicely. Follow me. Oh, this light. This is your outdoor light that you can 
turn on from inside. Obviously, I'm not hooked up. Um, we put some put some tint over it because it's too bright actually at night. But the 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 porch light is controlled from inside. Come on in. So this was a nice upgrade in 2018. They used to have the bench. So uh, New Camp built this with the drawers. Invaluable. I've got storage up here. Games, a hammock, uh, raincoats. And you can see how nice and tight these drawers are. These drawers. You've got a light here. You've got lights overhead. Uh, this is your control to see your battery level, your fresh and your gray and your black tank. This is a wonderful stereo CD system. You can control it to have the music uh, inside or in, just in the back or both. And then you can also, this also controls your TV. You put your CDs in here, your DVDs or whatever you call. So we have drawers with the marine locks so that they stay nice and secure while you're traveling. The one reason we bought the tab is because um, New Camp is known for its quality and workmanship. And so we keep all of our clothes in here. And then in these drawers, we actually put a wire shelf so that we could get double the, the usage out of it, but it goes all the way back. I've got toilet paper and scarves and you know my little toiletry, umbrella, first aid kit. And then down here, I actually have a dog bed. We travel with dogs, two dogs, and that just comes out and fits right on the floor very nicely. The bathroom, so nice to have a bathroom. Anybody that's tent camping and looking for a camper, this is this is very nice. My, my um, the bathroom is wonderful. It's got a sink, mirror, toilet, and you close the drawer and you use the shower and you can shower in there as well. It's it's very very nice. These windows in the bathroom. You can open or close. That's also in the door has one. The windows are absolutely wonderful. So they have these built-in screens. So if I want to close the screen or I just want to close the shade, do that. And then the windows pop out. So when it's raining, nothing come, no rain comes inside. And those are easy to close. Just close it like this and tighten them up. So the, the windows are wonderful. So we keep this as a bed. As you can see underneath, we have um, an organic, organic custom sized topper that goes on top of the regular cushions that are the dinette cushions. So um, you could take this off and make it a dinette and that t lagoon table from outside goes right in the middle and you have a dining set. And the topper will come with the camper. The topper will come with So like I said, we like to keep it as a bed. Um, you know, I like to lay down in the middle of the afternoon. Um, you know, it's got cubbies up here. We keep our movies, our, our DVDs up here. Um, these DVDs probably do come with because we don't own another DVD. Um, it's got a, is that a max air fan? It's got a max air fan. So you can open up the little hatch. Obviously I'm not plugged in, so I can't turn it on, but you can open it up. It just lets the air come in too. It's very nice. Air conditioning. Don't leave home without it. It's wonderful. Turn that on, close all the windows. It gets nice and cold in here. It's fabulous. So this is the TV. So once we we're camped, we take the little bungee up and we open it up. And we watch TV. It's wonderful. Uh, this is controls our heater. 
There's a AC fan, so when you're running the AC, they tell you to put the fan on at all times. There's speakers here, night lights, which are awesome. These are great. Uh, USB port, outlets, which is great. You charge your phone. And this is a nice little storage. I know a lot of people, um, you know, like to decorate their camper. We just liked the way that this was, this came. We like the nice clean look of it. So these cabinets are, go through to the kitchen. And I'll tell you why these are really nice because when you get stuck in a rainstorm, you throw your snacks in here and then you have them from when you're inside and outside. And then this one, this does not go through to the other side. The TV is on the other side. But so this is nice to for more storage. Uh, I will show you the one. We do have a little rip in the screen here, just on this one side. I would have to say this is the only only thing that that needs a little repair. I think a little sewing kit might actually repair that nicely. We've lived with it for a while, so. Uh, there's also a, a fire smoke detector. Um, nice tall ceiling in here. I can stand up. How tall am I? Huh? Five six. Five six. So it's actually probably about five eight in there. Like I said, the table, we'll just I'll give you a tour of my kitchen because this is my favorite part. So uh, this is my kitchen. Super easy. Close it, go on your way. Come back, it locks. This is my kitchen. So the refrigerator. It does have a little freezer and it freezes. It freezes really nice. So I sometimes will make a meal and I'll put it in a Ziploc and I'll put it in the freezer. So I can carry a couple meals in there. Um, sometimes I'll freeze them before I go and I'll put them in there. Nice, keeps everything cold. Uh, my husband and I eat for, I'd say a good three days with the size of this fridge. If we go for a week, we might take a cooler. We might just go to the store. Uh, TV's right here. Comes with two remote controls, one inside, one outside. Uh, didn't think we'd use it, but if you camp in the fall and you like college football, this is really nice. This is the speakers, controls. Uh, the controls for that are inside. Like I said, you can have music outside, music inside, or both. Um, so I've got my silverware drawer. This is where I keep my cutting board and my um, frying pan, uh, towels, extra water, Tupperware. You can see how it closes and it, and it closes nice and tight. This, this may look small to some people, but this is everything that I need. We have our coffee cups and our plates, our forks, coffee, coffee, coffee. It fits everything really nice. We added these baskets. Uh, so sometimes, you know, we, we have things in here in the summer. Um, we added this little fan. It's kind of nice if you're cooking and you're warm and you're outside. It's nice to have a little fan on you. What do you call this? 12 volt outlet. 12 volt outlet. We have one of those. Uh, the gas stove is very nice, easy to start, cook in the sink. This comes down if you want to travel and use it. We also use this for storage sometimes when we're traveling, you know, put your paper towel or whatever in there. Um, you just turn the water on and then... Oh, there's water in there, look at that. So under here, we keep the coffee pot. It's where we store it. We take the coffee pot out and put it over there. Um, keep our tablecloth. This is my soap stuff. So a lot of times I'll just take my fry pan, put a little water in it, and then scrub it outside and toss it. So, you know, 
I don't fill up my gray water very, very much. My fire starters, my alcohol, that's important. Um, and again, you've got an outdoor light. Half of it is just a peel off tint because it's so bright. So it might, the bugs kind of are attracted to it. So we, we dialed it down a little bit. And we close it up and on our way. So nice to have all of that. This is the outside on the other side. You've got your air conditioning vent. Oh, this is the um, outdoor shower. This comes in very handy. Hot and cold water. We have dogs, so if you need to spray, shower, outdoor shower, um, clean off the dogs or the mud from a pipe. This is wonderful. Um, this is the uh, city water. water connection. This is your, uh, what is it? Vent. Oh, it's a vent. This is the part my husband really good. This is where you hook up to the electrical. Uh, that comes with it, right? Yes. So you just plug it in, screw it in, and then plug into your campsite. Now you, everything's working. One other thing that we bought, we have not used yet. These were uh, custom made, these were custom made wings. We haven't even pulled them out and tried them. But the color matches the, the red on the sides. Trays. Oh, like storage. if you have a, a yeah, one of those uh, grates where you put your cooler and you and you can uh, bungee your cooler to the back rack. So more storage. Um, so we're selling this. I will even show you how this comes out. This is as long as you're spending the day. Too. It's very windy today. So it comes out to the rear wheel. This is my job, so I know exactly how to do this. Though. Comes out of there. with this for 
and we've kept with this for the two years and we absolutely love it. Like I said, we're moving to a van camper. We're going to travel the country. Um, we can set up and tear down this campsite in 15 or 20 minutes. For all our friends with the big campers, it takes them a couple hours. Uh, so like I said, this folds up. There's a bag for it. Uh, the, I just want to mention that this, uh, the grates on here, it's here and uh, on the window trims and the fronts and the fenders, those are a, a custom color, so you'll have, there'll be no other camper with that color. I think that's about it.